Today I want to demonstrate you the fastest way to select images in Lightroom Classic. In today's age you have a lot of images if you come back from a photo shoot because with the digital camera a press of a button is really really fast and easy and the images get stored on your SD card. But the problem is you have to cull your images and find the best images in the best case quite fast and now I want to demonstrate you inside of Lightroom how you can work the really fast way and I call this PUX. P-U-X because that's the shortcuts we will use right now. So let's get started. Here I'm in Lightroom and you see that's all the images that came from my photo shoot and now I want to start to select the best images and when I go through the images I also want to delete or flag the images as a possible deleted image or an image that should be deleted in one go. So what are the shortcuts you need for this work. First of all there are a few shortcuts for the uh, viewing the images. So first of all you see the grid view that's this over here where you see all the images. Next to the grid view shortcut is G you see the loop view shortcut is E and when you press on E you see the images big on your screen. If I go back to the grid view with G then you see all the images and now a really really handy tool is the following. I will select a few images these three over here and go to the N view and that's the survey view shortcut N and when you press on N or go to the survey view then you see the images next to each other and that's the key because now you can compare these images and decide which of these images are a good one or are good ones and which of these images should be deleted or rejected as it's called here inside of Lightroom Classic. Okay, so this is the views we are working with. So the grid view, the loop view and the survey view or as I call it the N view and the shortcut is the N. Okay, and if you are in the N view and you have more than one image selected then it's really really crucial that you set your sync mode from sync to by pressing on this small button to auto sync and what this does is the following now you can press for example on the p p for pick flag as pick and you see all your images are now selected and got a flag and pick flag if you go to the u then you can remove the flag and if you press on the x then you set all these selected images as a reject. When I now go back to the grid view, you see the rejected images have this flag with an X in it. The picked um, images have a white flag. So here you see really, really good which images have which property or which attribute. So now I want to start to select the images. As mentioned before, the fast way, and it's also a little bit, yeah, it's a lot you have to think in the beginning. But if you go through this video a few times maybe, then you will find that it's really, really fast and it's worth the, the hassle to learn this technique. Okay, so let's get started with the technique. So in the beginning, I will unpick all these images. So Command A and U to unpick. And now I can start to go through these images. And the idea behind this technique is that you think in lightning packages, so images that have the same properties, so the same lighting situation and the same, yeah, same properties in general. So you will see what I mean in a second. So I will start with these four images here. That's the images we get uh, or we did in the beginning. And I press on N. And to get an even bigger view, you can press on the tab key that's next to the Q key on your keyboard and then you see that the left and the right interface disappears. If you press the tab again then you see the interface elements come back. As mentioned before be sure that you have selected the small button over here so the sync button will switch to auto sync. Okay now I press on the tab and in the beginning I just want to press on the X. So all of these images you see here are now rejected. 
So all of these are images that get deleted in the end. And with these four images, that's quite okay. But I want to have this last image over here. So what I can do now is press on the small x on the right corner of this image to get or to reject or to just have this one image selected in the end. And now I can press on the U. So this image don't is rejected right now. This is an image I want to keep. Okay, now I select in the film strip on the bottom here images that are from the same uh, situation. And now I can compare these images with each other. And again, press on the X to reject an image. And now to be a little bit faster, so I don't have to press on this small X over here, I can hold the command key or the control key on a uh, Windows PC and just press inside the image somewhere. And so I can get rid of these images that I don't want to have. I want to have deleted. So you see in the film strip that these images are still the images I see over there, but this image and that image over there is now not inside my selection. And when I now press the U on the keyboard, you see I remove the flex for all of these selected images. And now I can concentrate on the pics. So which of these images are actual pics? So I want to set with a white flag. Okay, so I recheck or I deselect these images over here. And let's say these two images are pics. So I can go to P for pic and these two images have now a white flag. If I go back to the grid view, you see that I have these images selected. This one and that over here has an X. So that's a reject. This will get deleted afterwards. And this image and this over there has a pig flag and white flag. And so I can go through similar images like this. Just press on the X. So that's an X. So with the command key, I can deselect this image. And so I just have this image over here. And that's an U and unpick, so I just want to uh, have this image in the end. Then I will take images from here to here, press on the N key, press on the X, and just go to with a common click, uh, just deselect these images that I want to delete right now. Then U for unpick, so these are all the images I want to keep. I want to keep this one. And now I just think about what are the picks from this set. And I will just take these two images and now press on the P for pick. And then I will go to the next image situation. So this is this one over here. So X, I just want to delete these images over here. And maybe this one, that one. Now on the U, so all of these images are unpicked. And now I just go and search through these images and just find these ones I want to pick. And in this case, yeah, maybe these two. P for pick and then back to G for the grid view. And then I go to the next image package. As I mentioned before, the same situation. I can also take a lot of images if I want to, but then it's really, really hard to compare these images together. So I would definitely recommend just to go with a smaller image package. So I take this one, N for N view, X for reject. So I will reject these images over here. And these are images I want to keep. So U for unpick. And then I will go to the next package over here. N view, X. Okay, U for unpick. And the next package from here to here. And for the survey view. And over here you see the images are quite a little bit too dark, but that's also no problem because if I have this package over here, I can go to the develop model by pressing on D. And here it's the same as before. Just press on this small button over here. Then you can switch from sync to auto sync. And all I do to this one image or one of these images in general, so you see the frame around is a little bit lighter, so that's the most selected image. But all my settings I will dial in on this image will get automatically synced to all the other images. And then I go back to the end view, to the survey, 
And here I can do the selection as mentioned before. So X in the beginning to recheck. And now I will reject these over here. Then I will go to U. So with the U key, I can remove the flex. And these are the images I will keep. And now I just concentrate on the picks. So which one should be a pick? So for these, I just want to go with this one and just press on P for pick and then go back to G for the grid and I can go and work with these images. And in general, that's everything you need to know. Just concentrate in the beginning on similar images, then press, if you have used auto sync, press on X to reject all images, then just delete or unselect, let's say it in this way, deselect the images you want to delete. So just press with the command click on the images you want to deselect. After that, you just have to press on U for remove the flex. Then these are the images you will keep for sure. And then if you want to, you can concentrate on the pics on the good images. And these pics you can select by deselecting all the images that are not pics. And after that, you press on the P and you have the pics selected. And then all you have to do is, yeah, uh, filter through all your images and just pick out all the pics or just delete all the, re uh, the rejected images. So this is something I will do in another video, but I will demonstrate right now just uh, a short time. So I'm here back in Lightroom. These are the images I have rejected and picked. And what you can do right now is the following. You can go to Attribute and here you have the option to filter your library just by Attribute and here you want to filter it by rejected photos. And everything you have to do right now is to press Command A and then press on the Delete key and Lightroom will ask, do you really want to remove 23 photos from a Lightroom catalog? If you press on Remove from Lightroom, they will stay on the disk. If you say Delete from disk, then these images are get it deleted from Lightroom and from your disk. So that's what you want to do. A little bit faster way is the following. I just take these few images over here and recheck them. You can go to the library, no, to the photos menu. And here you have the option to delete rejected photos via command backspace. So if I just press on command and backspace on my keyboard, then you see Lightroom is doing exactly the same I did before manually here automatically for you. So library filter, attribute, rejected images, command A, delete. And then you can say I want to delete these images from disk. Right now I don't want to delete them, so I just uncheck these images. And if you want to see just your picked images, then you go and can go again to Attribute and just deselect the filter attributes from before and go to Flagged Images or Flagged Photos. And now you see all your photos you have picked in your PUX workflow from before. And now you can work with them, maybe by adding them to a collection or so. Uh, the next video will be on how you to work with collections here inside Lightroom and why collections are a really crucial backbone in a future proof workflow. So if you like this video, give me a like. If you have comments and questions, just type inside the comment section here on YouTube how you are working with your selection workflow. If something is not clear, just go back to the video and watch it again or write it down in the comments and I will comment you and give you the answers. If you are not a subscriber right now, please press on the subscribe button and as usual, activate the bell so you will never miss a video from me. Okay, thanks a lot for this time and I hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next video. So, see ya!